first yard sale of the big yard sale day. Yes. Very Are you excited? Very excited. Very. I can't even explain it. <laughs> I have a rock in my shoe. No, it's a screw. I was about to have a flat tire. There's a little moon helmet. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> These things are usually pretty good. Harley. There's another Harley. Check that one out. That is cool. Yeah, try and get these clothes out. Let's see if we can't get them out. At least lay them stack so that we know kind of what's going on, okay? Oh, look at that. Louis Vuitton. Very real. Very, extremely real. Tokyo Disneyland, 1983. New attacks. Okay. This one is, I thought these were pins, but I think this is a mechanical pencil. Parker, made in England. Yeah, both of these are mechanical pencils. It's pretty cool. You find anything? Yes, got a whole bag. Whole bag? No. Shoes, hats, all wow. sorts of stuff. One, two Harley shirts. We got some rainbow flip flops here. Looks like to be in really good shape, too. Three bucks? I guess. I don't know. Maybe nothing else has a price. Engaro. Bucks. I got a pair. not look bad. A little bit of wear. Probably ass on this. All four of these are Polo Ralph Lauren 2XL. So not anything crazy, but because they're all the same size, we could sell them all in a big lot. I don't see any stains or holes or anything, so we'll get all four of these. Hey, Lee, check it out. He talks. He talks. That's going to be annoying. <laughs> Let me look at the rest of this. Men's clothing over here. I think Haley looked at it already. But... PFG. 2XL white shirt. A Timberland. Oh, it's got a little stain on the collar. This feels like another Timberland. With the dry clean tag still on it. Another uh, Ralph Lauren Polo 2XL. Let me add that to the bundle. This is a Russell. South Carolina. That's pretty cool. It's got a big patch on the back. Look at that. These grunt style shirts, um, they sell okay, but I've actually heard some people say that they have Vero issues with that. I'll pass on those. Nice. Genuine leather. Look at that. Got a big plush table over here. I'm just going through and looking for anything that's interesting looking. That's something to do with Pokemon. Marching band Mickey. Another one of those Pokemon things. Hello Kitty. How about 40 bucks? Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we, can, we can do 40 bucks. Okay. Definitely. There's some stuff in there. What are y'all raising money for? Uh, I think this is for the use uh, conference that they go to. Okay. Um, okay. Give them 60. Yeah, they're 60. Oh, well, thank you. Yep. Yeah. They, um, they go to a big conference in uh, Gatlinburg every year. Yeah. They have all these guest speakers come in and stuff like that. Okay. okay. Awesome. Happy to help. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Thank you so much. All right. First yard sale of the day. We're we're done. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> we can just go home. <laughs> I didn't see all the stuff you got, but 
like this is really cool right here. This is an LL Bean. Goose down, Goose down jacket. Wow. Yeah. Is that made in USA too? Um, that's gotta be. Look at that. Yeah. I gotta see the tag on that. That that's definitely Carolina Reverse men's. That's crazy. That's yeah. probably like an eighty dollar jacket right there. I think I did, I did, oh, this was cool. It's really stained on the top. Look oh, at that. A little hard, yeah, that's super it's cool. It's got like a bunch of paint on it. But. That's okay. Yeah. We are headed up to the annual Sharing God's Love yard sale, which is it's a well, crazy thing with all, look at all these cars everywhere. Like we're like yeah. two, three blocks away. We actually made all these people. Two years ago when we came to this yard sale, the title was the biggest yard sale we've ever been to. And I think <laughs> this one is probably bigger than that. <laughs> Wait, oh, it's like everything's picked through already. Oh, there's not even any tables now. I remember they did. No clothing or household items at this time. Well, then. So, what do you have? <laughs> Sealed TR 89. Down here looking at personal use of furniture we have our, our screened in porch and we were looking for a little table for that and both of these tables i believe this is white oak so it's a very very high quality wood also this table is very like, heavy duty there's only 10 bucks five bucks for each of the chairs i might get the other one too because this white oak is really really pretty also I might grab these extra black chairs over here instead of four for just ten dollars and they're just like the basic like costco chairs um, but if you have extra guest over or something like that, it'd be easy to pull them out, have somebody somewhere to sit. Then there's also this table, which is also, yeah, this is also white oak. This is only $20 for a solid white oak table. I really, really like that. I don't think we have room for it. Oh, look at that cute little bench. Oh, that's sold. All that stuff is sold over there. Yeah, I'm going to get this table and the two chairs with it. All right. And I'm also going to get these four black folding chairs over here. Put these on here and put the soles on top of that. There you go. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. How's it going? She was asking about it. Oh, Bernice. I have found like, this Disney Cruise Line bag. Okay. Um, and a Disney Cruise oh, with yeah. the tag on it. Bird. Yeah, oh, that's cool. And then I found this for personal use because this is just so cute. So cute. Hello, Hello Bernice. How are you? Disney puzzle, Ravens Burger. Did anybody buy possibly the purse your pocket that you paid for outside? Did you already pay for your No. You have to pay for the purse when you come in here. Okay. Oh, if you don't mind. Oh, wow. Girl. Girl. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm sure. Sure. Oh, I'm 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 here, Lori. Oh, be great. We have this. That one had like oh, a This one did not have anything on it. This is two. Let's just do a dollar. And then this one's six. Yeah. That's all I have. Okay, six and that one. Is that oh. all? Yeah, I don't have any pocketbooks in here. Thank you so much. All right. all right. And I gave you your money Thank back. You. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that, did I? <laughs> all right. Thank you. Yeah, these are all. Large fiction. Is 
are cool. I definitely want to get these for my first, one of these for my first. Oh, I should just get all of these. Okay. I mean, they're all Harry Potters. And they're all in great shape. I can save them until we can complete a collection. 50 cents a piece? Yeah. I'm just going to take these. Why do I have to keep the boxes? They'll have to pry this box from my okay. cold, dead okay. fingers. It's $20 for those chairs over there. Okay. Table for 10. Does it go with her? Yes. Oh, for 10. How much? 20? 20 total. 20 total over here. Oh, okay. This, that goes together? Yes. 10? Yeah, it all goes together. And these are new. So it's these are new. 41. Okay. Do you have correct change? We can take it here and you'll have, if not, you can come up here again. Okay. Oh, we got it. Okay, thank you. So you're We're good to go pack up everything. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Unfortunately, my GoPro battery died before we checked out at that last garage sale, but we got a good amount of stuff, like all the Harry Potter books, like the yeah. whole big I box. Think, I think I was recording. I don't, you weren't recording the book sale? I, I think it died like in the middle oh. of the book sale, okay. so I don't know. But I got the last part of it, I think. So we paid, what was it, $9.50 for all the books and yes. the puzzle and things like that. It's kind of weird. You had to pay for like the purses at one spot and the books had to be rung up like in a little, it was just kind of confusing. But yeah. all in all, we spent... 40, well, we spent $6 on the purses, so $47 on everything, yeah. including the solid white oak and stainless steel table that yes. apparently came from Starbucks. Starbucks yeah. like donated cool all this furniture. Is that? So our new patio table, which we were looking at patio furniture ready to spend like three to $500 on like a nice set of like table and chairs for the, for the patio. Yeah. And now we got it for 20 bucks. Yeah. That's crazy. We're at a new community garage sale. First stop in here. You got two Toyotas in the drive, driveway, so they got good taste. Baby, baby stuff. Just baby stuff as far as these. Oh, okay. Not interested. It is. What time is it? Hello, how are you? It's not even 9 o'clock yet. Do not climb. Monograms and stuff like that. She had some she put on the wrong shirt, so she's oh, yeah. like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> That's cute. Gosh, There's a hard rock. Okay. Hard rock Gatlinburg. USA. It was cute. Oh, this one's cute. Look at that. Look at this big one. Disney store. Okay, we're getting that. Please. That's sure. new attack. Ooh, this, one's cool. oh. this is a limited edition build a bear. I'm part of the Teddy Bear Centennial series. I'm getting your Tigger collection. Four. One, two, three, four. So like four shirts and. How many still? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, yeah. And then, let's see, dollar, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the four shirts. Um, three bucks for three. So, so twelve. Twelve dollars. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. I think that one. Good to go. Thank you. Home. <laughs> you get all that for yep. twelve bucks. Twelve dollars. Awesome. All right. Thank you, sir. Super duper, super duper deal, right? Super duper deal. Next, neighborhood yard sale. Found a couple things at the last one. These first two sales look like mainly toys, but never know. Hello, how are you? Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo. Okay, I think this is it. $3 each, so one, two, three, four, five. 15 bucks. Sounds good. All right, thank you, ma'am. You, you too. And that's a microphone for the computer. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, my daughter fancied she was going to do a YouTube channel and never done anything with it. Oh, yeah. I think all teenagers think they're going to do a YouTube channel. We have a YouTube channel. <laughs> it's our it's our full-time job. Oh, so it's, It is, success is not typical, though. I will say that. But never know. Nowadays, it's much more a realistic career than it was when I was her age, you know. Thank all you. right. All right. Thanks.
If you guys have watched our channel at all, you know that we don't have a ton of luck at garage sales in our area. Like when, when they happen, they're usually pretty good. But like compared to people up in like Ohio or Florida, we just don't have as many quality garage sales as, as those guys. Uh, but today in particular was very good. Two big church sales in one day is just a killer garage sale day. I feel like I probably put soul comps on the screen for most of the items that we got that were like worth it. Like we got a ton of those Tigger and uh, Scooby-Doo plushes and I'm not going to look up each one of those individually to be honest. We'll probably just sell those on whatnot and probably get between 10 and 15 dollars for each. A lot of the Scooby-Doo's are vintage from the 90s still with tags so those are really cool. Um, but I want to share with you four of what I think are the best finds from today. I think the first thing we found in the video, our first one of the first things I found was a set of uh, two mechanical pencils. Um, they are Parker branded. And if you remember, I put soul comps on the screen. These things are worth a good amount of money. I don't know if it's the exact same ones. Um, one of them was like um, sterling silver or whatever, and I don't think this one is. Uh, but still, mechanical pencils that should sell for like at least 20 bucks a piece. You don't really find stuff like that all the time. So be on the lookout for oops, fancy looking mechanical pencils like this. Uh, made in England, Parker. Apparently it's a really, really great brand. So just add this to your Bolo list. The other thing I found at that first garage sale is this Disneyland Tokyo hat. Tokyo Disneyland Mickey Mouse making dreams come true since 1983. That's when they opened. It is new with tags but I can't find a date anywhere. I thought it was 1983, but then like the hat wouldn't, it would say making dreams since 1983. So that would, so it's definitely after then, but it's super old. It's in great condition. I don't think it's been ever worn ever at all. But the tough thing about this is that when I go to eBay and search Tokyo Disneyland hat, hat there's just not very much data to go on. I don't see very many listings, very many solds. Um, I, the market for these is just weird. So if anybody has any tips on how to find the value of this item, definitely drop a comment in the video and let us know. I'm super curious. I have high hopes for it because if there's no data on eBay, that probably means it might be rare and that could mean it's very valuable. Um, but we're gonna pause on this. Hopefully one of you guys can help me out. This other thing I found at the second church yard sale is the Sony multi-format card reader. I paid a dollar for it. Anytime I find sealed electronics like this, especially name brands like Sony, Panasonic, anything like that, I almost always pick them up if they're reasonably priced because there's no way this sealed Sony thing is going to be worth less than a dollar. I don't think Sony makes anything sealed that would be worth not worth taking a chance on for a dollar. I thought this was going to be worth maybe 30 to 40 bucks. But when I looked up comps on eBay, there are three sold in the last 90 days. I think the lowest one was $47. And then there's another one for like 60 something dollars. And then there's one for $99 plus shipping. But there's only one currently listed in new condition. And that one is listed for $199 plus shipping. So the demand is there. I mean, the selfie rate is technically 300% in new condition, and the only other one listed is 199. So we're probably going to put this up on eBay for 175 plus shipping, just to compete with that other listing and see if we can get this thing sold, turning a dollar into hopefully at least a hundred, at least a hundred, if not more like 150 to 175. So definitely be on the lookout for sealed Sony electronic devices. And then the last item I'm gonna share with you in today's video, and probably the best find of today's video is this Harley Davidson hat that <laughs> Haley found. So I, I, I was watching the footage when I was editing, you just like found it and you're like, oh, that's cool, look at that. And just threw it in. Yeah, like I knew that it was cool, but I didn't. Yeah. I didn't know, well, because of all the stuff on the top, I was like, I'm not sure, I'll just show this in. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's in a little rough shape. It's yeah. got some like paint or something transfer on the top. Uh, and then the inner liner is ripping in there. But I, I was like, you know, this is super cool. It's got that really nice Harley patch on there. I've never seen anything like that before. So I went to eBay and I searched Harley Davidson captain's hat, just because that it looks like a captain's hat. And there are none listed like this. Like there are some captain's hats, but they have like the bigger, um, like the wing logo. And apparently this, this logo, this patch is called like a spade patch. And it is incredibly rare. Pretty sure this hat is from the 1940s, uh, based on what I'm seeing on eBay. Uh, there are again, none listed, and there's only two sold that, that I can see on eBay. One sold for best offer, $395 free shipping, rare 1940s, 50 spade patch. Uh, with pins, this one does have uh, some American Motorcycle Association pins on there. Same patch, same little, the spade patch. And another one sold on auction, one bid, $350 plus shipping. Very rare spade patch. So I can't find any other Harley Davidson hats on eBay with this patch. So apparently this is super rare, super hard to find from the 1940s, 1950s, somewhere around there. Uh, and Haley, what did we pay for it? We paid 
they wanted 40 bucks for everything. Yeah, so we, paid 60 for <laughs> we paid them 60 uh, and I think that was an investment well done. So this is, I can't really think of a garage sale find that I've found that's like paid, you know, a couple bucks for and sold it for three or $350. So I think yeah. that's probably definitely the best find you've ever had and probably the best find either of us have had yeah, at a garage maybe. sale at least. Yeah. <laughs> That was pretty, that was pretty insane. But thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed today's video, definitely let us know by hitting that like button down below. It's totally free and really helps us out a ton. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below as well. Thanks again for watching. You're the best and we'll catch you on the next one.